Hello everyone, in today's topic, we are going to talk about probability that an event does not happen. This topic can be found in page 39 of your textbook. So let us have some words. We need to unscrabble these words. So the first word is what? That is probability. The second word is heart. Third word is possible. Correct. Event. Yes, it's coin and heart. So we have probability, hearts, possible, event, coin, card. So these are the words that we already had in our previous discussion. The probability of an event not happening. If I have a box of seven different CDs and I have three CDs which are music CDs, what is the probability of not picking a music CD? Or the question is, in how many ways can I not pick a music CD? So it is 4 over 7. Since I've got 3 music CDs already, so the probability of not picking a music CD is 4 over 7. So let us answer the question, what is the relationship between the probability of having the music CD plus the probability of not having a music CD? So from here, the answer is they add up to 1. 3 over 7 plus 4 over 7 equals 7 over 7 or it is equal to 1. So the probability of having music CD plus the probability of not having a music CD equals 1. So to get the probability of not having a music CD, we are going to transpose the probability of music CD on the other side. So we get the probability of not having a music CD equals 1 minus the probability of having music CD, which is equal to 7 over 7 minus 3 over 7, which is equal to 4 over 7. So in general, the probability of an event not happening is found by deducting from 1 the probability of that event happening or finding the complement. So in short, the probability of an event not happening is 1 minus the probability of event happening. In symbols, we have P not A equals 1 minus P of A. So let us have example number one, the probability of not tossing a five of a die. So from here, the sample space for tossing a die are the following one, two, three, four, five, six. And we all know that there is only one five. So to get the probability of having five or the probability of a, it is equal to one over six. So this is the probability of event A. So the probability of not A equals 1 minus the probability of A, which is 1 minus 1 over 6, which is equal to 5 over 6. Now let us have another one. So the probability of not getting an ace by drawing one card from a deck of 52 cards. So the question is, how many aces do we have from a deck of cards? So we have... Four. So from here, the probability of getting an ace is equal to 4 over 52, which is equal to 1 over 13, dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So from here, the probability of not getting an ace is equal to 1 minus the probability of getting ace. So sometimes we use the prime to indicate that it's the complement or the probability of an event not happening. So from here, we shall have 1 minus 1 over 13, which is equal to 13 over 13 minus 1 over 13 equals 12 over 13. So therefore, the probability of not getting an ace equals 12 over 13. Now let us have another example. A number is chosen at random from the first 20 positive whole numbers. What is the probability that it is not a prime number? So the first thing we need to do is to determine what are the prime numbers of the first 20 positive whole numbers. They are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. 
these are the numbers which the factors are itself and one. So the, prob the probability that we are getting a prime number is equal to 8 over 20 because there are 8 prime numbers and the total numbers is 20. So we have 2 over 5 in lowest term, dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So the probability of not getting a prime number, we subtract it from 1. So 1 minus 2 over 5, which is equal to 5 over 5, minus 2 over 5, so it is equal to 3 over 5. Now let us have another one. So there are 120 students in the international classroom. There are 24 Europeans, 20 are Chinese, 18 are Japanese, and the rest are Thai. Let us find the probability that the first student who leaves the classroom is not Thai. So from here, the first step is to determine the number of Thai students. In doing this so, we are going to add first 24 plus 20 plus 18 to be subtracted from 120, which is equal to 58. So there are 58 Thai students. From here, we are going to determine the probability of the first student who leaves the classroom is Thai. So probability of Thai is equal to 58 over 120, dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So it is equal to 29 over 60. And then the probability that the first student who leaves the classroom is not Thai, it is equal to 1 minus 29 over 60. So 60 over 60 minus 29 over 60, it is equal to 31 over 60. So let us have the last example. The probability that Anand will pass the examination is 0 0.6. What is the probability that he will not pass the examination? From this kind of problem, we need not to solve for the probability that Anand will pass. So it is given already. So what we need to do here is to subtract 0 0.6 from 1. So the probability of Anand will not pass the examination is equal to 1 minus the probability of him passing the examination. So it is equal to 1 minus 0 0.6, which is simply 0 0.4. Now let us have this one. If the probability of an event happening is 1 out of 8, what is the probability of an event not happening? Correct, it is 7 out of 8. So 1 over 8 to be subtracted from 8 over 8. Now let us have another one. If the probability of an event is 0 0.2, what is the probability of the event not happening? Correct, it is 0 0.8. 1 minus 0 0.2 equals 0 0.8. So before we end up the discussion, please do your worksheet 3, wiser than me, as your practice. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye.